just want to achieve getting the word out there to everybody. That is honestly what I want to achieve and I also want to have a baby and eventually get a house because the caravan's quite cramped, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, the future is really good. And as I've said before, you wouldn't want to be dead for quids. Life is just too good, even with HIV. It's what I'm going to make it. And I really enjoy figuring people out and, and figuring out the whys of, of people's actions and such. And so I enrolled in university at UWA and started a psychology degree at the beginning of this year. There's, there's things I want to achieve. One of them um, lived to 80 or 90, which I, I don't think is going to be an issue. It won't be the HIV that gets me. Well, I hope that I'm in his future because <laughs> I didn't get a mention, but I don't know. The future is quite bright for me. I look forward to the time when I can travel a lot more and see a lot of different parts of the world with my partner. I'm 60 next month. I'm so, so goddamn happy that, not that I'm 60, but that I've got there. Like when you look back 32 years, wow. I don't know where it's going to go, but I know it's going to go somewhere good. If I had to choose one word to say to somebody who'd been newly diagnosed with HIV, it would be acceptance. I'd like to assure the community that it is not a life-threatening disease. Open up and talk to people. You're halfway there if you can accept that you have something in the first place. To share with the entire community about living um, a healthy life, to ensure that everyone will be um, fine in years to come. If you open up for people, yes, there'll probably be some negative experiences, but they need to learn to deal with that, not you. Tell everybody before you think of it as a death sentence, go and seek the right support and go and seek the right help and actually find out about it and know that you can live a normal life. You know, looking back and just thinking at that time, it was quite amazing. We were very lucky that what we were doing and the people that we we met on our journey. And I believe that um, stigma, uh, the root cause of stigma is um, the lack of knowledge and, and judgment. And, and being too um, critical of um, other people's flaws or even um, one's own self. Mm -hmm.